Hello my lovely people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Jane. This is the first time you're seeing me. Thank you so much for stopping by, my return subscribers. To you, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you. See how I'm sweating? Because I went outside to my car, right here in, the, in front of my house, to pick up something from my car and it was burning hot it's over 90 degrees over here today so if you live in us or wherever you live and the weather is very very hot i see this here today please if you don't have to go out don't go out i beg don't go out um it, it, the heat is very very serious it can make you have heat stroke uh, they are saying it on the news that if you don't have to go please don't go and if you have to uh drink plenty of water please stay under 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 the shade so that this heat will not be on you it's very very serious so my lovely people uh i just thought i'd let you know you will say this woman that is sweating like this why she's inside her home why <laughs> that's why so my people i saw this a uh, video that a uh, arise news had with a uh, article uh, article the vice the vice president of obasanjo during their own uh, reign and um something that he said he said a lot in there but there's something that he said that i want to come here and tell you uh for you to hear that particular thing it's about the light that we don't have about electricity that he tweeted out about something that that crashed that gives light and then one of the other presidential uh, uh, candidate omo elishawore who has been on this thing for over 30 years. Yes, he is young, but he has been uh, talking about all these things for over 30 years, replied him. So, but let's hear what the question, what he tweeted out about the greed collapsing, and let's hear the answer after Omoye Deshawori replied him. So, but before I tell you that, just have in mind that the person that uh, he served under which is Obasanjo, came out and told us that this guy is not a good guy. He said the worst mistake that he made was taking him as the vice president. Obasanjo told us that he's a criminal, that he can't even go to U.S., that U.S. had a lot of stuff on him, which is true. He is not talking about that. And I was surprised that Arise News did not ask him anything about the criminal, something about uh, that he had with U.S. So Obasanjo has already told him, before you start typing, before you start cursing, oh, Jane, uh, this and that and that, I need you guys to hear what he answered about light. Then that will tell you whether this man is going to give you light or not. So let us hear that thing that he tweeted and what Omo Elisha already tweeted and his answer that's the only thing i want you guys to hear because i, I don't want to make this particular video uh, so <clears throat> so long so i want you guys to hear it i'm gonna go through the pain and hold it for you uh, sir yesterday the grid the national grid of nigeria collapsed <clears throat> up to the point of the zero output the sixth time this year and on your twitter account uh, you tweeted that uh, uh this is one collapse too many it is the sixth time this is happening this year alone yes. that's part of your tweet but there was uh, an immediate uh, report on by uh Omar uh who is also a presidential candidate in this race and this is what he said he said the national electrical grid could have started when you and Obasanjo invested 16 billion dollars to procure darkness for nigeria the Buhari regime came to visit greed collapse as a law. Alaji Atiku, don't pretend that you care about the national greed. We can't continue like this. That's uh, another presidential candidate. What do you say to, to this allegation? Well, uh, he's my opponent. What do you expect him to say? He has all along lived outside this country. He doesn't even know uh, the policy the implementation or even the policy initiative. We started to explain. When we came in, uh, the total generation was about 4,000 megawatts. We initiated the building of nine additional power stations. Nine. And by the time uh, those nine were finished, you know, the capacity has gone up from uh, four to about 13,000 megawatts. Unfortunately, no correspondent uh, increase as far as the transmission lines
lines are concerned. There is, there is no way when your transmission lines cannot evacuate the power you are producing that they will not collapse. So they keep on collapsing. And these uh, additional uh, nine power stations were completed by Jonathan. Umaru was on it. Uh, he died and Jonathan continued and he completed them. So that's why any time there is an increase in the uh, power generation and then you have a transmission uh, system and that cannot evacuate the power, there will be a collapse. So he doesn't even know because he lives outside this country. He comes every four years and contests for the presidency and goes back. He fails and goes back again. So what does you already know about this country? Nothing, absolutely nothing. But what do you intend to do differently if you were to become president of Nigeria? Uh, uh, let, me, let me just give you a story what I tried to do even during our own administration. <clears throat> I went to the president and I said, look, uh, Mr. President, let us decentralize both generation and transmission. He said, what the hell do you mean? I said, look, let's use various other sources of power, hydro, Solar, even coal, we are still a developing country. And then break, you know, the concentration. And the president said, no, he bleed more in gas. I said, gas is going to be a problem for us because gas is only available in one location. And then it will take us longer time to have uh, a, a gas uh, plant that will supply the whole of this country electricity. And by the time we do that, we will find that the electricity we'll be generating is too heavy for our transmission. <coughs> but if you decentralize the generation, the generation like in my zone, the Northeast, we have too many dams there lying idle. All what we need to do is four turbines. And then with our current transmission system, we can transmit the electricity. If you go to the northwest, they also have too many large dams idling. All what you need to do is install, you know, uh, these turbines and they generate electricity. If you go to the south-south, then you can use whatever form of energy is available, whether it is gas or hydro or even coal. After all, after all, Mr. President, I said the entire eastern region was being supplied by gas, I mean by coal from at, at that time. So what is wrong? So, but unfortunately we had a divergence or disagreement as far as that issue was concerned. And he said we must go on gas. And that was how now we now started, you know, the gas uh, uh, generating plants, you know, additional line. So I still believe it is something uh, as a country, we can consider to diversify our generation so that even with our current transmission lines, uh, we can deliver, you know, power to households and, and, and to everybody. It's a question of reviewing the policy. Sir, you've described the unveiling of NMPC Limited as a step in the right direction. The NMPC is not why we are here. What we are here for is the answer that he gave about that business. You see, that light business is very, very important to me because that's no way 200 million is going to stay in darkness and make it in life. I don't care what kind of rule you try to put over there in Nigeria. Once they don't have light, just cancel everything. It's as good as dead because that's everything you can do with light. All you need is to give Nigerians light. But you know why this man is still reviewing the policies? The policies that they've been reviewing since he was the vice president. They're still reviewing policies of giving us light. Because he is the person that produces the generator. Is he going to close his generator? He is the same person that told you, that told you Nigerians, that hey, what is wrong with enriching my friends? Are my friends not entitled to be enriched he told you that come on come on come on wake up wake up i don't care uh about <clears throat> i don't care about whoever or whatever anybody will type in this video 
if you are still supporting this man <laughs> i am very very sorry for you i am so disgusted by you if you will see what Peter B is doing and how he's telling us how he's going to do it. And this one is still telling you that they are going to review, review the constitution. They will review the constitution of how they will give us light. They will review everything, how they will do wrong. They will review everything. Just have in mind that Obasanjo, that he served as the vice president, has told us that the worst mistake that he made was picking this guy. He said if he has to change anything today, it would not be this guy. He said, Nigerians, if you pick him, you are on your own. That's what Obasanja told us. And when people tell me stuff, I always believe, believe them by their words. And Obasanja is telling them, and Obasanja knows better. And they even ask him, have you gone to see your boss, which is Obasanja? So for those of you that are saying that uh, uh, oh, Peter will be called him, boss. He, uh, he has a boss too, Obasanjo. They say, have you spoken to him? And do you think he's behind you? He said, I, I believe so. I don't know, but I believe so. I haven't seen him yet, but I believe that he's still with, uh, with me. So my people, Please don't make this mistake. Don't make a mistake. A lot of people are telling us everything about these two people. A lot of people are telling us everything about these two people, Atiku and uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. That was a place that they asked him. But the Bola Ahmed Tinubu is your friend. He said, yeah, we are friends. We are rivals. We, we, but that doesn't mean that uh, we are not going to. Since we became friends, we've always been uh, uh, going through this. So they are still friends. It does not matter who who wins. That's why they are not talking about each other. That's why they no, are not attacking each other. They are still friends. If Atiku wins, it's uh, Bola Med Itunubu. It's Bola Med Itunubu wins, it's still Atiku. So be careful. Oh. Make wise choice. Make a very, very wise decision in what you are doing. Because what you are doing will come to hurt you, hurt your family members, hurt your every member of your family because the amount of money that nigerians are owing now because of this type of people how did you see the amount of billion the amount of billion that omoye lesho will record because omoye lesho will know because omoye lesho is a sahara reporter so he know he know so my people don't make this mistake oh everybody is warning you everybody cannot be wrong and you are the only one that is right so open your eyes shine your eyes like our people always say and they are uh, uh, this our brother that said our mu, our mumu never do <coughs> if your own mumu never do mine don't done long time ago so it's time for you to open your eyes <coughs> and know and know that when somebody tells you something about them on what because he never told us what he's going to do he said they will review they will review they will review when he gets in. Okay. So, my people. Now, it's time for you guys to review every one of them. I hope the same way they interviewed him. That they would interview uh, Ahmed uh, Bolatinubu without anybody. Just the same way that he's sitting by himself. Because they have already interviewed um, uh, Peter Obi. And let them interview him some more and more and more. Because he has stuff for Nigerians. And he's telling Nigerians, it's time to get away from chop, chop, chop and start producing stuff. We can't even produce toothpick. So that's what I come here to tell you guys. God bless you guys for watching. It's up to you. Everything is in your hand. Whatever you decide to do, it's on you. And it's us that will suffer it. It's us Nigerians that will suffer the consequences of our decision. So please make better decisions. Please don't let money rule you. Please don't let money distract you. Please don't let money. All these are evil money that you can make by yourself. Make it by yourself. Work hard and make it by yourself. Because this people money is not good money. And they are tying all of you down with the little change that they are giving you. And they go in there and then say, I can bet you with every penny that I have. That I made the Bola Tinubu. I got one in Nigeria. I got one another place. I made the Bola Tinubu, I got one in Nigeria, I got one, either in the UK, or in America, or wherever it is uh, that uh, 
He's going to, because there's no hospital over there that will take care of him. He will always run to another place. And one of these days, oh, Gaga, there and then, then, and what? So I, I had, oh, I thought I'd come and let you guys, because that's what I'm here for. When I hear you here, when I see you see, God bless you for watching. From me to you. Bye-bye.